Hello, welcome to another video. We're going to be trying Easy 7, a 64-bit operating system based on Linux, Easy OS Excalibur. Hopefully this will work. I've enabled virtualization in the BIOS on this machine. Um, let's have a closer look. We're going to select our keyboard. I'm just going to go for US. And it wants a password. One time only operation, creating a snapshot. The copy failed. Error failed. So. This didn't work. Um, so it's telling me to reboot. Maybe it doesn't work from the Ventoy USB. Um, Maybe it needs to boot from its own USB drive. Maybe I downloaded an installer rather than a live version of the operating system. So I'll try booting from Ventoy again. It's a dot img, and they're normally dot iso. A lot of these um, don't actually work very well. Um, I'm going to try this memdisk mode where it loads the iso file to memory. It does that when it's a really small iso image. Um, or rather it gives that option when the ISO file is really small and then you end up getting this kind of error message. So it's not much help really. The battery on this laptop is completely dead. And if we try a Strumi um, in normal mode, this looks a bit corrupted but we do get this and press enter it's going to try and boot and then it comes up with an error message so again this could be because i'm trying to run it from ventoy and i'm just going to try fedora workstation i don't think i've tried this specific version. Um, I think I used Fedora desktop on a different machine and I just want to make sure I can run a Linux operating system from this Ventoy USB and see that it actually works. Here's the loading screen. Okay this is Fedora workstation we've got there. We've got the desktop. Um, it's not the quickest. This is a slow laptop. It's got a Celeron N3060. It's got two gigabytes of RAM. And yeah, this is a slow laptop. And I'm pretty sure this operating system would benefit from having four gigabytes of RAM or more. Let's bring up a terminal. You 
can see how slow the system is and how slow and how long it is taking to open a terminal. I'm still waiting for the terminal to load. This does seem to be basically too slow to use and of course I realize that I'm running it live, it's not installed, but the whole point of a live image is so that you can try it and see if it works on your machine before committing to install. And currently I'm trying to open the terminal. I've tried three times now. I've waited, you know, at least about four minutes and I'm not getting the terminal to appear. So this does not look like this operating system is going to work well on here at all. So I'm going to try a different Linux operating system to see if we get better performance. And I'm sure Fedora is a really good Linux operating system, but it just needs a better system than this. This has only got two gigabytes of RAM and a really slow processor. Ah, we've got the terminal. It's only taken about four or so minutes and we're still waiting for the prompt as you can see so here we've got top and it's got 1.8 gigabytes of ram and it's also got a swap set up and CPU usage is at 86% for the system. It's a system that's using that rather than us actually doing anything. So yeah, this isn't looking good. But let's try something different. This is the latest version of mini OS 5.0 running on an HB stream 11 and it's based on Debian 13 and I'm booting from the Ventoy boot disk. So it's giving us English as the default option and we're going to start a new session and this is designed to run as a live image. And there are three different versions available. There's standard, which is what I'm using. There's the next level up and then there's ultra and the level you go for is related to how much is on the ISO, how much software is provided and yeah, how big the image is. So this one is around 790 megabytes and should give us everything we need to, you know, get on the internet, etc. It's also based on Debian 13, so it'll be interesting to see if this works on this laptop with only 2 gigabytes of RAM and a dual-core Celeron N3060. So I'm just going to leave this running so that you can see how quickly it boots. This is real time. I'm not speeding this up. And there's not much to look at at the moment but we'll see how it goes. It says it's fast, simple and reliable. Okay, that didn't work. Something went wrong and we can't continue. This should never happen. Please reboot your computer with Control Alt Delete. So that didn't work either. Not really having much luck with Linux today on Ventoy. It could be because I'm using Ventoy. It could be because of the Linux versions I'm choosing. It could be because this is a laptop with only two gigabytes of RAM. 
we might have got to the point where modern Linux distributions expect four gigabytes of RAM. This laptop is working. Normally it runs Windows 10 perfectly fine, slowly, but it runs. So um, yeah, this is probably just gonna end here. Um, Trying to run Linux operating systems on an HP stream. And you saw that uh, Fedora loaded fine on this. So not sure what is happening with these ones. And it doesn't really tell us anything interesting or useful in this rather than, you know, giving us all of the Linux boot up text. We're just getting this. So that's a shame. Um, I'm sure if I was on a different machine, I'd probably have much better success. But then my other machines would have more memory.